Power and fish, two great assets from the mighty Columbia River. Clean, renewable hydropower makes life in the Northwest easier and industry more productive. Salmon and steelhead are a vitally important part of the ecosystem and provide food, sport, and inspiration. Having both power and fish is a commitment of Chelan County Public Utility District. In 2002, the utility launched one of the area's largest construction projects for fish, a $112 million juvenile fish bypass. This one-of-a-kind river within a river is designed to help young fish on their way to the ocean. By reducing the need to spill water for fish passage, the bypass can also mean increased power production. We recognized many years ago that there are multiple uses of the river and that fish are one of those important uses together with power. And in order to meet those responsibilities for fish, this bypass system is an important tool that we've developed that takes advantage of fish natural instinct to follow surface flow downstream. By developing this system, we've come up with a mechanism which we believe will will help, help us preserve low-cost hydropower at the same time we're meeting our responsibilities for fish survival. The story of this monumental project started in 1994 when a team looking for a better way to get fish around Rocky Reach latched onto a plan to take advantage of the Z-shape of the dam. The basic premise of the bypass is try to intercept the fish as they are on their way downstream in the most natural way that we can. At Rocky Reach, we're fortunate because the way the dam was built, it directs the surface currents to bring the fish into one area where they're congregated. So what happens is the fish like to travel in the top 40 feet of the water. And so the combination with capturing the fish in the top 40 feet of the water and in a place where they concentrate, we've been very successful. Final system design followed prototype testing that started in 1995. By 2002, the utility had enough information to start construction of a permanent system. At a cost of $112 million, this was a major undertaking for a public utility district. Once construction started, crews raced the clock for completion. All work in the water had to be done between fish migrations. Well, the scheduling for the construction portion of the project was very difficult. We had a tremendous amount of work to do in a very short period of time. Uh, we were squeezed in between permitting requirements on the front end that took us into early uh, 2002, March, April 2002, and we're constrained on the back end of the project uh, with the desire to bring the system online in spring of 2003. The project was divided into two parts. On the upriver side of the dam, crews built a fish collector and pump station. Preliminary assembly was done at a peninsula one mile above the dam. Pieces of the structure were then floated downstream and put into place by giant cranes. The surface collector is the heart of the fish bypass system. Uh, the structure is about 90% submerged. Uh, you don't see most of it from above water, but it extends about 60 feet below the water surface in as deep as 120 feet of water, and it sits on 54 piles. There's about 8 million pounds of steel and about 5,000 tons of concrete used to build it. There were about 250,000 man hours of labor to put the structure together. The pump house is a component of the, of the surface collector that's used to create the attraction flow. There are 29 pumps um, arranged in 10 bays, stacked three high. Uh, the pumps create flow that comes through the entrance of the structure. There's about 6,000 cubic feet per second of flow. Um, that flow is matched to the four bay velocity, and so that helps induce fish to come into our structure and not to avoid it. Diving was a significant part of erecting the surface collector because so much of it is underwater, and there was approximately 1,800 dives to complete it in the six month period. Yeah. Okay, Dave's right there, but there's also a plate you can climb. We hung those plates on the back side. Okay, uh, okay, yeah. While the collector and pump station took shape in the four bay, Workers on the downriver side of the dam constructed nearly a mile of pipe. The pipe was placed on pillars in front of the dam and on supports attached to the powerhouse wall and spillway columns. The pipe follows a carefully engineered and gradually sloping path. It takes fish about six to eight minutes to go through the pipe. 
At the same time the bypass was being constructed, Rocky Reach was in the middle of a major powerhouse rehabilitation. Hundreds of people and their equipment came together to make the hydro project a very busy place. Work was coordinated carefully for safety and efficiency. Safety was uh, our priority number one going into this particular project. Uh, there was quite a bit of uh, work that required close coordination and when we met with various contractors, the number one issue was always how are we doing on safety. In fact, our B contractor who was responsible for installing the bypass conduit was awarded uh, a national safety award by uh, National Contractors Association for the work that they did here on the bypass conduit. On the east bank, sections of pipe were formed from concrete and steel and left open on top so that biologists and operators could inspect the system. Flow is periodically diverted to a fish sampling facility where fish are counted and examined. The outfall pipe was carefully located over some of the deepest water and stronger currents of the river. Predators like northern pike minnows cannot easily lie in wait in these strong currents. The outfall pipe is positioned to stay above water even in high water conditions. Studies show that fish are not harmed by the drop to the water at the end of the pipe. The bypass system went into operation on schedule in April 2003. In its first year, the system worked even better than planners had hoped, helping millions of juvenile salmon and steelhead safely pass Rocky Reach. Fine tuning should make the bypass even more effective in years to come. We did it because we wanted to do what we should fix a salmon situation, save the salmon. And when you look at the success we have, um, this far exceeds expectations. This is a project I will be proud of forever. The Rocky Reach Juvenile Fish Bypass is helping to prove that we can have both clean, renewable energy and healthy salmon and steelhead runs. The Chelan County PUD's commitment to good environmental stewardship will help protect the region's many natural resources now and into the future.